Here is a Dio Junior Fian. This is the category number C10. Looks like AJ17.45 amps. And then 10, 120 volts. And it's also 60 or 50 cycles. This thing's in pretty rough condition. It needs a lot of help. All the felt is going off the bottom. I don't think that this is even original here. This looks like some kind of replacement. A lot of the paint's starting to flake off. The cord has been replaced. The original lead wires here are cloth. And while they don't look too bad, I think they probably should be replaced. The cord appears to have been replaced. Uh, at least once I would suspect probably quite a while ago too because the the cord is not in the greatest of condition anymore it is starting to crack in several areas <gasps> oh no it's gonna simultaneously burst in the flames well probably not this cord kinda looks like a cheap aftermarket cord that somebody bought over the years and did a, kind of a crummy job putting it back together so this this really needs a lot of help um, the cord is cracking really bad at the switch that's almost getting to the point where I wouldn't use it anymore uh, because, see, like, you get a crack like that. Oh, come on, the focus. That's important. You get a crack like that right in there. Up against the other side, it'll short out. So, um, this is actually getting a little bit, even a little flaky to me. So, cord needs a replacement. The switch is probably fine. It's an Eagle USA switch. 15 amps, 120 volts, so it's well overkill for something like this. But works just fine. On, off. I'll leave it on so I don't have to interface with this cracked cord while it's plugged in. Even though I think you could still do so pretty safely. This is a single speed model with osculations, which, uh, Oh dear, it's got all oil, like, it's an oil freak show in there. Huh. I'm surprised it's not leaking everywhere. You could disengage the osculations by unscrewing this, I think. Yeah. And just letting that sit there like that. So we'll do that for the video. And then I'll, I'll put them back on. Let's start with the osculations off. And you know what, just to prove a point, I'm going to turn the switch off and I'm going to interface with the switch with the cracked cord while it's plugged in. Well, I survived plugging it in. Alright, so we, we're testing right now at 120.7 the volts. Is that visible on the camera? I guess it is. So let's go over to amps. And now I'll switch it on. It's got a pretty cool startup sounds to it. It actually sounds like a machine, not a piece of junk. And uh, that's quite strong. I'm surprised. That's very powerful. grabbing these with two hands because you've got a few issues. Um, now I'm going to the insulation is different. Balance is not perfect. It does need some balancing. But it could just be a result of the clock being out of line. Yeah, that's strong. That's really pushing some air. I'm surprised for the size. This is not a big fan. It's only uh, it's only a 10 inch fan. It's really whipping the air out. Uh, 
I put the os the os circulation screw back in place, and then we'll show that. Why there's so much oil here? That doesn't seem like that's correct. It's got to be leaking, leaking from somewhere. doesn't even go to the left at all. Uh, what in the world? What is going on with this, these articulations? Something's not quite right here. Nah, something's funny. What is wrong with this? It's definitely not operating the way it's supposed to. these older fans can tell me how that articulations thing works. <laughs> 